LA's housing market is extremely tough, so it's important to exploit any window of opportunity that comes along, and I think one just has. Next month, Fannie and Freddie will announce the 2022 lending limits for conforming loans. Long story short, you'll be able to borrow more money in 2022, but already lenders are lending based on what they think the upcoming announcement will be. What does this mean for you? Well, if you're in the know, it means you can already borrow more money and have an advantage over other buyers. That's what we're talking about today. I'm John Schwartz, a house hacker, investor, and realtor in Los Angeles, California, and you're watching House Hack Los Angeles, a channel about winning in the Los Angeles real estate market. This is my bi-weekly market update for October 26th, 2021. This update's a little different because instead of going over the numbers, we'll be going over the news. But to address the numbers briefly, the off-season continues as expected. Inventory continues to fall off slightly and sales indicators are mixed. Pricing is down, the market is a little slower, but let's face it, it's still a seller's market out there. Back to the news. Every November, Fannie and Freddie announce what next year's conforming loan limits will be. So we're still about a month away from that announcement, but already lenders are accepting higher balance loans in anticipation of what the announcement will be. You see, the conforming loan limits are tied to the FHFA's home price index, which has been released. So lenders who sell their loans to Fannie and Freddie can look at the home price index numbers and have a very accurate idea of where next year's limits will be. That allows them to lend at those limits a little early before those limits have been formally announced. So let's take a look at next year's limits, or to be more accurate in our verbiage, the lending limits that are currently being accepted by some lenders in anticipation of the announcement of next year's limits. Here are the conforming loan limits for 2021 and 2022 anticipated, and these numbers apply to most of the country. However, some counties, including Los Angeles County, Orange County, and most Bay Area counties in Northern California are considered high cost areas and have higher conforming loan limits. Here are the high cost conforming loan limits for 2021 and 2022 anticipated. In high cost areas, the lending limit on a single family home has been increased from $822,375 to $937,500. This means that if you're utilizing a 3.5% down FHA loan, the maximum purchase price with a conforming loan has grown to $961,638. Let's say you're in a position to put 10% down. With a 10% down payment, the maximum purchase price with a conforming loan is now $1,041,666. So for the first time ever, Angelinos can now put down $100,000 and buy a million dollar home with a conventional loan. And the conforming limit on a duplex is now just over $1.2 million. With the 15% down payment required on a duplex, the new maximum purchase price with a conventional loan is just north of $1.4 million. So why does this matter? How can we use these numbers to our advantage? Well, first let's quickly review the difference between conventional loans and jumbo loans. Conventional loans are ultimately bought by Fannie and Freddie, two quasi-governmental agencies that exist to support the US housing market by buying loans from lenders. Fannie and Freddie tell lenders what loans they'll buy. They call this guidance, and then lenders offer loans that conform to the guidance. These are called conforming loans. One of the principal guidance items is the loan limit. If the loan is bigger than the limit, Fannie and Freddie won't buy it. So if a home buyer needs a loan bigger than one that Fannie or Freddie will ultimately buy, they have to utilize a jumbo loan. Jumbo meaning big. And who buys these big loans from the lenders that offer them? Wells Fargo, Chase, B of A, and other large but private financial institutions. Because jumbo loans are ultimately sold to these private institutions, the requirements are stricter. Jumbo loans are typically harder to get, have higher down payment requirements and often carry a higher interest rate. But if you're in the market for say, a $2 million home, a jumbo loan is your only option. What we wanna focus on here is that threshold point between conventional loans and jumbo loans. For single family homes in LA in 2021, we're talking about the low 900,000s. And for duplexes, we're talking about the 1.2 to $1.3 million range. There's a lot of good property at these price points, but the bidding can get away from buyers who don't have large down payments. Allow me to explain. Imagine a nice house comes to market at $900,000. This is great for a conventional borrower putting 10% down. That's a $90,000 down payment and an $810,000 loan. But as the price gets bid up, the conventional borrower is going to hit that loan limit of $822,375. If the property gets bid up to $920,000, for example, the conventional borrower will have to put down about $98,000 because of that loan limit. At some point, the conventional borrower is going to run out of funds for the down payment. However, a jumbo borrower with a 20% down payment can keep on bidding. At a certain price point, somewhere in that low 900s area, conventional borrowers are going to bow out 
and jumbo borrowers have the advantage until right now. The Fannie Freddie loan limit guidance hasn't officially changed, but some lenders are already accepting higher loan balances in anticipation of what Fannie and Freddie will do. If you're a conventional borrower bidding with a limited down payment, you need to take advantage of these higher lending limits before they become the norm at the end of the year. So look, a couple hundred people watch these market updates. If you're one of them and you're currently house hunting, call your lender and ask if they're offering higher limits on their conventional loans yet. If the answer is no, or your lender doesn't know what you're talking about, call me. I have some referrals for you. Subscribe for more timely home buying hacks like this one. Check out this video if you're wondering what house hacking is all about, and this video if you'd like to know more about how to analyze house hack deals. If you're in LA, get in touch through my website, link in the description. See you next week.